Welcome to OptiSystem's 100 gigabit per second DP QPSK video. In this video we'll be using the following layout which can be divided into five main parts. A dual polarization QPSK transmitter, a transmission link, a coherent receiver, a digital signal processor, and a detection and direct error counting unit. Let's take a look at the flow of our system. We first generate a bit sequence with a predefined length and sample rate. For example, we could simulate a million bits at 64 samples per bit. The sequence is then used to modulate both polarizations of an optical carrier using a QPSK modulation format. The modulated signal then passes through a fiber link. After suffering some distortions from the fiber link, the output signal enters a coherent receiver, where the polarizations are separated before detection. Each polarization contains in-phase and quadrature signals. These signals then enter the DSP module for distortion compensation, and then to a QPSK detector and decoder, and finally to a BER test set for direct error counting. Now let's go ahead and simulate this layout. Simply click the play button and wait for the simulation to complete. We can monitor the progress using the calculation output window or the calculation schedulers window. Once complete, simply close the dialog box. Now we can analyze the results. We'll start off by looking at the time domain information of our signal before it enters the optical fiber. In this particular view, we can see the signal phase and the X polarization for the first nanosecond. You can also see each of the four levels in our QPSK signal, each of them separated by 90 degrees. Now let's jump out and look at our signal after it passes through the fiber, which has both dispersion and PMD effects enabled. In this visualizer, we can see the signal distortion. Next, we'll take a look at the RF spectrum analyzer, which is located in the quadrature component of the Y polarization. In this view, we can easily calculate the bandwidth of our signal. In this case, it's 25 gigahertz. Now let's close this window and open up our constellation visualizer, which is located before our DSP block. This particular visualizer shows the constellation diagram for the X polarization. Our signal will now pass through the DSP component which compensates for fiber dispersion using a transversal digital filter. We then apply a constant modulus algorithm for adaptive polarization to multiplexing and a modified Viterbi and Viterbi phase estimation algorithm to compensate for phase and frequency mismatch. In this example, we have taken advantage of our MATLAB co-simulation capability to do the digital signal processing. On this screen, we'll see various constellation diagrams before the DSP, after dispersion compensation, after polarization demultiplexing, and after carrier phase estimation. We can now jump back to OptiSystem and view the constellation diagram after digital signal processing. Combined with direct error counting, whether it be a million bits or a thousand, OptiSystem allows us to completely analyze our 100 gigabit per second DP QPSK system.